Greetings, beloved. I'm Dr. Felicia LaVoy, lead pastor and life coach here at the historic First United Methodist Church in downtown Elgin, Illinois, with another motivational moment from the Bible. These motivational moments are designed to help you take what you hear in church on Sunday, what you may hear online, a podcast, what you may read during your private devotional time to take those biblical concepts and to make them a part of your everyday life. A few weeks ago, I mentioned that um, that you and I must come together as the body of Christ, right? We've been doing this whole series about being rooted and, and about how important it is that we come together to be mature together. We kicked off this series, remember, about the whole idea about what's so amazing about church. Well, you can't have church by yourself. Church requires at least two or three of us, right? God promises that when two or three of us are gathered, that God would be in the midst of us, right? This week, our final week, the theme um, for this final week of back to church uh, or around being rooted is around being rooted in community. For our theme for the motivational moment for this week, it's I am because we are. It's an old African proverb. And what it means is that I can't know who I am outside of community. Doesn't mean that I don't have my own way or that I'm not an individual unto myself, but it means that part of how I'm defined is based in community. Part of who I am is based in the community around me, right? Yes, I know I'm Felicia LaBoy, but I start every one of these with I am the lead pastor. I'm pastor because of the church. I'm a coach because of the church. I am a wife because of Adrian LeBoy. I am a mom, stepmom, grandmom, auntie, friend, sister, professor. I, I'm all those things because of community. Beloved, yes, I'm important um, because I'm a person but I am important too because I'm a part of the community and so are you. Ask anybody who's suffering an amputation or who's had a body part that's been out of commission. Man, I can tell you, I was out of commission because I had to have a knee replacement for like three months. I could not walk. And let me tell you, when you have a body part that's out of commission, you understand these verses about, for as in one body, we have many members but, and the members do not all have the same function. So though we, though many, we are one body in Christ and individually members one of another. You understand that when you have one part of your body that's out of commission. Beloved, no one in the church is more important than any other member. You can't hang back and think, well, somebody else will do it. No, beloved. God has sent you there because we need you. You are who God has gifted you to be because we are, because we are the body of Christ and we need you. My hand is my hand because it's part of my body, not part of your body. Get it? We all need to come together to be part of the body of Christ. That's how we know who we are in community. None of us have the whole story. That's why it's so important to be in study together. It's why it's important to have the whole, to have a, a, a wider picture of history, to have a wider picture of um of uh, church and theology rather than just one person's story. It's, it's like that old, you know, the old uh, study about someone trying to figure out who an elephant in is and someone's just uh, blindfolded and they're just reaching the trunk and they think it's a tree or somebody's just kind of doing the, uh, I mean, the leg and they think it's a tree and someone's just doing the trunk and they think it's like a slide or something. Beloved, it takes all of us to be the body. And everybody is important and without you, the community is fractured and we limp along. We are because of you and you are because of us. God never meant for us to do this alone. 
the biggest lie ever told in the Western church was that this was all about us as individuals. No, 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 no. While our Christian faith is personal, it is never private. It is never private. Even Jesus' faith, it was personal with the Father, but it was never private. It was never private. It was never private. Neither should ours be. Beloved, you and I are because we are. We need to be rooted and grounded in community. And anything that says that we shouldn't be is a lie straight from the pit of hell. Read through the Bible. Every time God calls an individual, he calls that individual for a group of people. The Apostle Peter called for that group of 3,000 people and for the church. Paul called for the Gentiles. Joseph called to Egypt. Jesus called for the world. Whenever Peter is talking, when it's to the book of Ephesians. And you and I are called to a group of people. And when you're not there, something's missing. Beloved, we need you. So I pray that you'll join with us. Are we perfect? No. But we can't be any better unless you join us. And help us to be better. I pray that you will stick around for this week's Refresh Your Soul moment, which is when the church gets together. That means when all of us get together, how much better we will be. It's by Family Church Worship, and I pray that you'll stick around and join us here next week. Be blessed. I love you, and I'll see you here. I am Dr. Felicia LaBoy, lead pastor and life coach here at the historic First United Methodist Church in downtown Elgin, Illinois. Be blessed.